a bit more, uh, they need a bit more grunt. It's like there's too much cannabis in the air because you're all passing. <laughs> Huge fat people. Really big people. The fattest yeah, yeah, yeah. people you've ever seen. I think dominance. <laughs> yeah. Kind of agree with that. Oh gosh. Trump, still, he's still lingering in my mind. Like really obsessed with getting actors to be their president. Reagan. <laughs> like The Rock or Kanye West, it was not a thing. Uh, I used to live across the water from them in Windsor. They don't know we exist at all. <laughs> but other than that, uh, I think of guns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> High cholesterol. Oil, a lot of oil, sugar as well. But on the flip side, there's a lot of nice, friendly people there, so it does balance itself out. To I a think extent. very loud voices. The people in the states are very loud. So when I think of the states, I think of big characters, like in any kind of tourist establishment. It's just like, yeah. oh, you can hear them from about three miles away. I think they want that though. Oh, probably. I do like America when you're in those major cities. The second you leave, it gets really weird really quick, <laughs> and it's not okay for this face to just be walking around. They'll, they'll talk to you about your culture. They'll be like, oh my great, 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 great granddad is Scottish. They'll be like, oh my God, please tell me. Don't even have to say that. And they'll tell you about the history. I'm like, that's not true, but go for it. <laughs> Oh, tea and crumpets and the queen and, you know, taking over places and the empire. Bunch of cunts. Ignorant. <laughs> I freaking love England, okay? I'm just gonna say it. I do like the British, uh, but every time I, I go to Europe, I realize that the British are the Americans of Europe. <laughs> like, no. everything they do, I'm like, oh. But their accents are so good. Yes, yes. Finger, wait, no. Not bangers and mash. That's like bangers a, and mash? Is that an English dish? Yeah, it's sausage and mash. All right, sausage <laughs> and mash then. Bangers and mash. Pie, like, I feel like pie is a thing. They pie, eat like a lot of yeah. pie. Curry pie. Curry pie. Beef pie. Humble pie. Humble pie. <laughs> Yeah. Also, like, everything about them, like, their national food is curry and their national drink is tea. Like, those aren't your guys' things. No. <laughs> you found those. I like, I like the queen. She's cool. <laughs> Love Island. Like they're definitely like our brothers, sisters, like siblings, and we just automatically we're always gonna be pals. I don't know anyone in Scotland who doesn't like the Irish. I don't know anyone in Ireland who doesn't like the Scottish. We have the same sports and that we always lose. We almost win, but we also <laughs> lose a lot of the time. And then we drink a lot, we've got good crack, drinking. Al alcoholics. Straight. Yeah. Good time, fun time, drinking. Very nice people, I think, the Irish. Friendly, they're very friendly. There's like no Barrier. It's like straight away your friends. I think they get a bad rap for the whole, the whole they drink too much thing. Like if you're good at something, like why not do it all the time, you know? <laughs> we play hockey, they drink, it's like everyone's got their thing. Oh, really fun like dancing, like Irish dancing, the Irish jig, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I think of like hatred of the British. When I think of Ireland. <laughs> I just think of green. It's not- Yeah, the, I was gonna say green, green too. Green. How I does one like rolling just, hills, yeah. like green grass. Big fat man in a kilt. That's what I think of when I think of Scotland. Like, I, I shouldn't think of Mel Gibson. I know that's just a movie, but I also think of Mel Gibson. You oh. can take our land, but you can never take our freedom. Freedom, Braveheart. We don't even have freedom, do we, though? No, fuck. <laughs> Still on, under the English Just like you guys, eh? Hey, 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 England hey. fucking everyone's lives up. <laughs> I'm scared care, to say anything about Scottish people because they scare me. So, Scotland's great. Mm -hmm. One thing I will give them credit for is despite all the bad weather, they do bring some positivity. I'll give them credit for that. Just like hardcore, but very friendly. They know mm. how to like, they know how to be people. Our best friends. Our they're best friends. Very. Oh, Canada, the land of the moose. Someone just saying sorry. Oh, yo. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Sorry. Being nice. I'm so yeah. nice. I'm yeah. sorry. There is a Canadian exiting the store and they're like, no, you go. And you're like, nah, you go. And you're like, nah, you go. I would say like almost actually aggressive politeness if I'm gonna like take it farther, like very afraid about coming across 
American, basically. Canadians are just like a more apologetic version of Americans, to be fair. True. And they get that. And True. they know that. And they kind of, they play on that. They beat around the bush too much, you know, it just sometimes you just oh. want to get down to it, down fucking grimy. They yeah. just kind of skirt around and don't want to talk about it. You know? They have manners. Canadians have like a lot of manners. It's hard to kind of break through that kind of customer service-esque, like I've got to be polite, I've got to be nice. It's like, I want to know you. I don't want to yeah, know you as like how you're not. trying to portray yourself. They're cool and stuff, but they just need a bit more, <laughs> ugh. They need a bit more grunt. It's like there's too much cannabis in the air because you're all passy. Maple syrup. Yeah. Somebody's got to say it. Moose, beavers, <laughs> beaver tails, poutine. Poutine. Let's just um, list off the stereotypes while we're at it. Yeah. Oh, I'll also say very multicultural. I respect yeah. that a lot. And Canada. Tim Hortons. Fucking Tim Hortons everywhere. Nice, yeah. nice that they let us into the country, but. Yeah, oh, thanks so much. I love the Kiwi accent, Kiwi birds. Again, amazing culture. I would love to go camping there. See, the people of New Zealand, they're just so cool. They're awesome. They're just, really cool. Just how they talk, like, it just seems so relaxed and chill. For me, like, New Zealand, I think of a postcard. Waterfalls. And again, green. I think green. Green yeah. grass. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Everyone talks about Lord yeah. of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Yep. Yeah. Um, Kiwis. Like, the fruit and also the people. <laughs> and the bird. And the bird. And the bird. I think of, like, indigenous people. Yep. Yeah. Um, like the Maori. I don't know, it, New Zealand's just a bit in your face. It's not, it's a bit, it's a bit rough, a, right a now. bit rough around the edges. That was a lot to say, Kimmy. <laughs> Kiwis are definitely a bit rough around the edges, for sure. But so are Aussies. Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi! Yeah, that's like that's like I got. Koalas. 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 <laughs> hot men, koalas. koalas. Koalas holding hot men. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you'd have to pay them to put shoes on. They just like refuse to wear footwear. Ooh, yeah, they're fun. Mm. Like they're a bit like, like fancy themselves a wee bit. Like I feel like everybody there takes a gap year and travels and I, like stays in hostels. I've been to like a bunch of countries and only ever met Australians. Australians, there. yeah. It's like, hi, I'm in Colombia. Oh, can I meet Colombians? No, Australians. <laughs> Australians are there. You're in Antarctica. Hey, do you want to meet some Antarcticans? No. Australians. It's Australians. Also, just like very kind of culturally confused. I was there for a hot second. And in the daytime, they're all like, no, it's so cool. Like, we're going to go to the beach and we're going to chill out and we're just going to, like, you know, drink fosters and stuff. And then at nighttime, they're like, we're going to take loads of selfies and, like, you know, hang out and flaunt all of our money. Like, imagine someone called Chad, like, shirtless, yeah. wearing like a shell necklace, being like, I was gonna do an Australian accent, but I definitely can't do it. Yeah. Hey guys, come that, down to the no, beach. Honey, that's not it. Okay. <laughs> like they, the whole country started because England was sending prisoners there as a thing. If I think of like South Australia, I think a bit more like rural, chilled out. Melbourne, personally, I found pretty intense. Uh, Sydney, business, Brisbane, or especially if you go south to the Gold Coast, fake tans, steroids and big tits. Mm -hmm. Like my goal in life is to visit every country except Australia. I have Why? No it's like, it's I hate spiders, I hate snakes, I hate anything creepy crawly, and it just all lives in Australia. What do you think of Wales? Nothing. <laughs> I think of castles. <laughs> it's the sheep. The sheep thing comes to mind. Sheep. Oh, sheep. Sheep, sheep Yeah, sheep, sheep. <laughs> sheep and also sex education. I love that show and it's filmed in Wales and it's- Strangely appropriate the sheep and sex education They're... come out of the same place. <laughs> it's very sad that was in Notting Hill and he didn't have any clothes on. No, the other one, his naked housemate. Oh, I don't know his name. That guy. That's that what guy. I think of when I think of Wales, the guy with no clothes on. Nice, firm buttocks. Rugby. Definitely rugby. Yeah. Gavin and Stacey. I think of Gavin and Stacey. They have one of the longest words in the world. The words, it looks like they've just like gone like this on a keyboard. Oh, so yeah. extremely patriotic for no particular reason. Yeah. <laughs> like, like extremely. Like my ex-boyfriend was Welsh and you couldn't go anywhere without him singing the Welsh national anthem. One of my best friends is Welsh and she is, she is patriotic and psychotic. One time when we were in a pub in Dublin, she made everyone be quiet and she stood up and sang the Welsh national anthem in Welsh. And everyone was just like, boo, like sit down, you're in <laughs> Ireland. And she was just like, <laughs> Wales gets a bad rap with the sheep. I think it was one guy, one time with the sheep thing and it just like blew oh, up Oh no, there. now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Four oh. wheels. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get shit done. Are you being serious? 
imitate Americans for me? Like, I could try, but I'm like, I'm not so sure that there's much to say because, like, I don't really have like a lot going on up here, but you know, like, I look okay, so. They sound like they speak in Comic Sans. Like, if they were a font, <laughs> they would be Comic Sans. <laughs> like, just like really like kind of cheesy, bit serious? goofy. Hey man, I'm from California and all I want to <laughs> do is smoke weed, get high, fuck George Bush. Yeah. Let me, I'm going to go around to the tractor and get me some party for a little bit. Yeah, I'll be in the kitchen just cooking up some, some, I don't know what. Get the paw, paw, get the, get, get the, the cooters, get, get the, the cooters. Co there are cracks in your sponge. I can't do it. I can't do the accent. But like, I just think of like Paul Hollywood, like tearing somebody apart. They're very refined. They're very refined, aren't they? They make Australians look dumb. Some food in the bar. Near the grass. Pasta sandwiches. God save the queen. That's the regular um, British accent, which sounds like they're just slightly in pain the whole time. Or the people like, I'm an Essex girl. I like Prosecco. <laughs> yeah, for me it's Prosecco. <laughs> From Essex. Let us out of the EU. Oh, not like that. Oh, <laughs> um, fuck it. It turns out we really need like doctors from other countries and like you know people to do the jobs that we really don't fucking want to do. Like that's really annoying now. Oh. Oh, top of the morning to you. That's pretty good. Hey, stop waddling, Tom. For fuck's sake, Mary. <laughs> that's good. I'm what? not going to be able to top that. Like they're yeah. always like they're constantly like tripping. Just going to the pub. <laughs> Very like sing songy. It's like they're almost like singing to you when they speak. Like I had a tour guide who would, who said like they say it's the oldest bar in Ireland. The man over there with the hat on, you know, like that guy, you know, like down at the pub, point of lager in a Guinness. They have a nice accent. I was about to miss my flight. I was stressed, and then suddenly I'm there, and the flight attendant gets on and goes, "Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Aer Lingus Flight 963, non-stop to Dublin, Ireland." I'm like, I feel better now. Of course, it was Aer Lingus. <laughs> Can't do, you can do it. <laughs> I'm here in Glasgow. I'm gonna drink a bottle of iron brew. I love iron brew. Yeah, Denny know what you're saying. Oh gosh, that's stressful, isn't it? That, Just that's about that. a hard accent. Um, there's, there's a song that goes like, um, open up your heart and your soul, take my love and never grow old. Have you seen that video that's viral on school? I've got school. Nah, it's not funny, I've got school. <laughs> How do they say Edinburgh? Edinburgh. 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 <laughs> Space ghetto. Space ghetto. Fuck, you got it! Oh, I fucking got it! <laughs> That's it. That's that was Australian, I think. You do Australian and you do New Zealand? Yeah, I mean, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, like, let's do it. No, I do not sound like that. I do not sound <laughs> like that. Shrimp. That's like Put classic. another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> G'day mate, how you going? I don't think they actually say shrimp on the barbie. I they think do that's not a, say shrimp I think that's barbie. a stereotype. They don't even call them shrimp, they call them prawns. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. I don't know what that means, I don't know what that is. Yeah, they just I, shout it. Not... People always think they add R's on the end of everything as well, like, no. But I don't personally really hear that. Oh, you know what I think about? I think about that old show, like, Cleo, the bathroom spray. <laughs> <laughs> they always say, how'd, how'd you go? Like, meaning like, how are you? And I went camping and I had to use a squatty potty. And I came out and she was like, so how'd you go? I was like, sitting down? Like, what do you mean? And she was like, what the, what are you talking? Like, she meant, how are you? I don't want to hurt feelings, but I think they just kind of sound like Australians in my head, but maybe like slightly, like, softer. Should you try it? Cleo, the bathroom spray. <laughs> I love the Kiwi, that's my favorite accent in the world, the Kiwi accent. At summer camp with my friend, I had to go to the girls' deck and the boys' deck the decking on the water. And so my Kiwi friend was with me and he goes, right, so first of all, we're gonna go to the girl's dick. And second of all, we're gonna go to the boy's dick. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, what? Great. Would you like to have a go on my dick? <laughs> I got a big dick at home. Yeah, a big dick. Yeah. yeah One okay. time I had 30 people on my dick. <laughs> Very, Very nice good. accent. Very good accent. Excellent, absolutely. They kind of sing when they speak. Sarah, you just won the rugby again. They go up and down like, ooh, 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 ooh. Do you want to say a sheep? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am actually, I feel it's very emotional. What's yes. you doing over there? If there's a rugby game on, you need to get up. We're going to go down to, no, it gets getting worse. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. that's it. I'm oh, sorry, I'm, I'm so just going to squeeze by you. Hey, uh, oh, squeeze oh, by you. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry. And the Canadian is just like American to me. I can't personally um, hear a difference. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to be about, about there, eh? 
You want to sure. you want to meet me by the coffee bar? For sure. For oh, sure. for sure. Yeah. For sure. It's uh it's right up the road, eh? Uh, the very rural areas you can get some like very like kitschy like almost Minnesotan accents like, "Oh, that's a ghost." Did oh you yeah. That ghost? Oh, that's there? That's yeah. a moose. Yeah, that's a moose. I need a bag for my for my Oreos. That's very <laughs> Minnesotan. I don't know. That might translate to it. Maybe up in Newfoundland. Yes. Oh, I don't. Oh. Really? Catholic. Yeah, baby. Put them on into yeah. I wake up every day is a daydream. Everything in my life ain't what it seems. I wake up just to go back to sleep, all right? Real shallow, but I'm in too deep. Some people think I'm bonkers, but I just think I'm free. And now I'm just living my life. There's nothing crazy about me. Some people pay for frills, but I get mine for free. And yeah. I'm just living my life. There's nothing crazy about me. Bonkers. <laughs>